Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be working on my boy's G37. We're going to be doing valve cover gaskets on his car. So I'll probably just film us doing that. I don't know if it'll be more of a DIY or if it's just going to be basically showing you we're replacing it. But yeah, I'm waiting for him to get here. I can hear him. So hopefully here he's in a bit. Uh, yeah, and then we'll get it started. Okay, have a nice little video. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna I, start taking out the. I'll say let's start doing the intakes, intakes. yeah. We'll probably just have to disconnect it up from here. From here? From yeah. this section? If you want, you can use those gloves. You don't wanna get dirty. Because I honestly hate getting fucking dirty as shit. Yeah. And then you fucking scrub the shit at your hands and I'm like, oh, it's still dirty. <laughs> and I rub you. Oh, yeah. But I, was, I was gonna do that, but then I was like, oh, this fucking. They're all different sizes, because then the ones up there are another size. Uh, it wasn't that expensive either, but I mean I got it on sale How much you got it for? Like 300 bucks Some of these are coolant lines, all right? Um, I think I heard the guy say that in the video. I don't want to other type of pizza as well. I'm pretty sure I heard dude say like in the video that one of these have like coolant. Oh, they have the coolant. Huh? Do they have the coolant? Yeah, like the throttle bodies to keep it like cool or whatever. Oh. I mean he says it doesn't leak a lot, it's like very, very little. And I think it was this one that I just disconnected. It seems like wet. Oh okay. This is fucking like corroded on there, kinda twisted. There. I wanted to change the lines too, like the Z1 so like the whole the whole kit. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's, it's a more better material than this one. But who knows? They're probably the same shit. Right? Oh, you think they're better? Here's the thing that you need for like these. I think you disconnect this one and that. I don't want to work. See what you mean? That she's fucking stuck in here. Huh? I see what you mean that they come out here and like you pull it out and it's not coming out. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see the coolant. 
We have some green corn in it. I mean, I don't think we'll need any because I don't think any really fell, basically. Yeah. But. I think I got some in the trunk, too. Connect the back ones to it. Oh, yeah, I think only this one. Only that one? Yeah. And then just connect the throttle body connection, like the harness. Oh, okay. Disconnect it too. And this red. I think that's it. I think we could take this off now. One of these 13s. So I disconnected everything on the back. I'm saying it's a 13. Oh, here we go. Let me cut this clip fucking 10 minutes long. So we already disconnected everything, at least we believe we disconnected everything that connects to the plenum intake manifold, whatever you want to call it. Um, we, I double checked and looked at everything back here. It looks like nothing's attached anymore. So I think all we have left is disconnect. I mean, take out these bolts. I believe these two, it's a smaller one. And then that's pretty much it. Well, Like one of the last ones I bought, to be honest. I can't remember if it did or not. Yeah, it does. It does, right? Yeah, but I, mean, I probably need an extension for that. <laughs> Should we just take these out? Maybe take the other one all the way out. So that's it's just that one, because I think these are all bolts. These are all bolts. Besides that back one, that back one's only one second not. The front and back one. Don't drop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should just have to Thank you, Steve. Alright, so there, as you can see, that is off. Um, now it looks. We just need to get everything out of the way to take these velcros off so all these wiring harnesses we'll just take them off uh, i guess we'll take this it could be out the way and then unbolt the ignition coils and take them out unplug the harnesses and then we should be able to take it out can this thing why does it get Take this bitch out of here. Out the way. Well, is it connected to the heater coil? Or what the fuck is this? Oh yeah, let's just let's do this. Oh, oh. I see some more cooling came out. Let's do that. Now, why does this thing have a bunch of 12? Hey, Weird that size. Is it Taking that valve car off. Let's 
to. <sighs> My bad. <laughs> I had a feeling that was gonna happen because it happens on N54. <laughs> yeah, you see, now with that out the way, it's easier to fucking. This is gonna be able to get off easily. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> My coil was back. Yeah. You used to talk like that. You couldn't get oh, an alignment think... or something. Some weird shit. You said like you had to replace the coil overs. Or one oh. of them. Oh. Oh, the coil overs? Yeah. Yeah, I did replace them. Uh, now I got BC ones. Because the one that was banned was the true heart ones. They didn't like those coils. No, I haven't liked the, the coil overs. Oh, uh, yeah, I replaced those. Because I had it on my hand too, I like gripping that shit. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. I can't see. What the fuck? What size are these? Wait, huh? the plugs? Ten. Ten. What did you use to take it out? This this one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I need to start now. Okay. These come all the way off, I'm guessing. They're not like BMWs. Where they stay in place. <laughs> That's a that's a cheap ass one too. Yeah. Harbor freight. Oh shit. I should be putting it in work. I use that shit daily. And I've never had a problem with it. Yeah, if they buy me one, it's just dope. Ah oh, bitch. So they get annoying. Ah. <sighs> These clothes are mad, man. They're all the same. Yeah. How did he heal? Okay. These bolts. <laughs> this should be. Oh, yeah, I can see part of the ball cover gasket like on the way. I don't know. That's how the engine looks pretty clean. Well, I need to some good news. Oh shit. Honestly, I thought they were bigger. <laughs> the N54s are huge. They're like long as fuck too, right? Yeah. I they feel, yeah, they feel kind of crusty already. Like, it's already hard. Yeah, that's a fault already. Hey, yeah, look, that shit is ripping me. Can I take it off? I wonder if they were supposed to have one here, because it's not here. <laughs> oh, it's right here. Oh, I see. It stayed on the engine. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, I need it. Look, it broke too. This should look like some wrong one. <laughs> it shouldn't be that hard, yeah. Like some talking about a tune.
Just like what? Uh, are they the same kind or is it a different part number? Uh, see one's, one's A and one's B. I think one of them are uh, gases for the spark plugs. Yeah, I'm saying one's probably left and one's probably right. Because you see like they all, one, the, the part number yeah, is different. One A and one B. Do you have more gasket or is that it? Oh, okay. I was about to say, I'm, I'm like, dude, I swear I ordered other ones too. Yeah, but I think it might be, no, I think it's going to be that one. This one? Where's the little... Where's the little... Yeah, you see how this has it there. Oh, okay. That's the same design. change them until I got a tune but I'm like I, like I already know I need it you know yeah, I mean I don't think it'll matter though like it's not it's not like you it's had, not what number did you have the A or the B I think mine was B no A okay so this I'm hoping is this side then A is I hope this is the same shit oh yeah you can't really touch it it was all I'll open this one too this one and kind of compare it, I guess. Get the fuck out of here. Nah, it should be this one. Yeah, it's this one. And then before we put this in, just do the spark plugs. It's easier now that this, that shit's not on there. All right, so right now we're going to do the spark plugs because it will be easier to get to them now so that the valve cover is off. We, as you've seen, we already changed the gaskets on the valve cover. It's just sitting there ready to get put in. So now let's go ahead and remove the spark plugs because it will be easier now. Like, oh, now we could go, guys. <laughs> get that cool 360 ratchet. <laughs> This is way easier to do to be honest than now. And on the beamers? The valve cover, yeah. Yeah, it's full of oil. Damn, it's crusty as hell too. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling because I'm making shit. Because when those headers, I was like, I'm probably running rich. So they're kind of probably going to be black. And then I already know I had the oil be going on. Every time like I'll drive it on sport yeah. or like higher RPMs, like you could smell like the oil coming mm -hmm. out more. Oh, this one's cake, wait. I was gonna say this gooey shit is from. Oh yeah, where's that gooey shit from? Yeah, on a tour, put your 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 ignition coils. There's some there's like a, some type of grease you could put on them. If anything, just upgrade your, I mean, replace your ignition coil. Yeah. Just to be safe, especially if you want to tune it soon. Yeah. To get ignition coils? Yeah. Well, I, I, don't, I would say get like, I, I say get better ones because those are probably the original ones. Yeah. Because I was going to buy some, but the guys at work, they were like, oh, okay, no, okay. I showed them, they were like, I think they, uh, they get more amperage or more spark or something like that. And they're like, yeah, those are more basically more like for like going boost and shit, you know. But shit, I mean, I'll prefer uh, changing them too. I mean, I've already changed the spark. Because on N fifty fours, if you put a stock one on there and you start tuning it, yeah, sometimes they can't handle it. Mm. So that's why we 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 put upgraded ones in it. Yeah, I think I'll just play it safe and upgrade them. Because I mean, I mean, I'm sure they're already old. Yeah. Usually, 
I use the soil for the bottom ones, but the top ones I didn't have to use it. Oh, okay. So the soil was for the bottom ones? Mm -hmm. Looks good, clean. It's supposed to be like a nice golden color like that it is. But you could probably take it off already. You kind of just have to hit it a little bit. Oh, okay. Give some love taps. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> It's just the rear now. Oh shit, this is hot as fuck. The curved ones here. Yeah. And the little puddle of coolant. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Use this one and then twist. Twist this shit. For what? I feel like it's funneled around until it kind of hits them. Let me see. Oh, just like rotate it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I think, that's, well, I think that's an AC line, but I mean, you don't need to call it heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna get this fucking wire out the way. There. Oh, that's gonna be a bitch putting it down. Low key, eh? I know we have to be careful if they damage the gas. There has to be a way to fucking move this. Mm-hmm. 
that bracket. I know there's a bracket. Yeah, Alright, so this one goes here, which means this one connects here. This one goes here. I'm like, what the fuck? I guess this one goes there, but oh, it's over here. It's hiding. So this one's two. I was fucking freaking out. This one's three. What the fuck's this? <laughs> 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 wait, is this the- oh, wait. Wait, which like one was the antic one? That one was the antic one, huh? No? Oh, no, that was the antic one. Fuck, what the fuck? So let's this see if this one goes in. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't. Out. That's throttle that body. One. So this one. This is probably throttle body, then. Ah, uh, okay. Well, how come they don't make, like, this shit different colors? Damn. <laughs> like, throttle body blue or something, you know? Like, oh, okay. To go to the side, because that doesn't block this. Oh, okay. I'm just saying it was it was easier now to do it when this was off because it's just, there's less there. shit yeah in the way. Oh shit! Give my goddamn socket. You get Man, y'all already seen how to fucking do that one. I'll record later. <laughs> it's the same shit on this side to that side. Yeah. So everything we're stuck on. Yes, yeah, it's, it's everything this side has that I you saw me, saw me do is gonna be the same thing for that side. So I'm gonna turn the camera off for a bit, um, and then we'll probably I'll probably start recording again once we're going to put the platinum back on. All right, so I totally forgot to record, um, but look, it's fucking done. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, the platinum's back auto body and all that assemblies um intakes are on double checked all our connections all our hoses the ones that go through throttle bodies ones that go behind i reconnected all that hard like uh brackets connected that up bolted that back up all oh, this side is done um yeah uh, just connected the battery so i did it so okay now it's uh i'm gonna scan the car because uh, he has a check engine light, we'll, then we'll just be racing and uh, yeah, we'll start it up and we'll go from there. Alright, so as you can see, the car is done and it's out here. Started up fine, drove fine. We went to go take it for a test drive. It runs and drives fine. Great response now that it has the new spark plugs. No more leaky valve cover gasket. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I guess I can start it since you guys didn't hear it start. I wasn't recording. You could get an exhaust note and then I'll probably just end the video there. Did take it for a drive but just for the video i'll take it on another one so you guys can see no misfires it does have an exhaust leak so that's not my idea. we didn't touch that don't expect it to be anything crazy fast
last call on the part of the airport video.